So how do you determine the difference between someone who cheats once in a moment of weakness versus someone who cheats repeatedly and don't plan to change? In today's show, we're going to talk about cheating, lies, and a lack of trust and how some women fear being cheated on. cheating lies and not being able to trust when you're dealing with cheating and lies you know in a relationship recently I've been doing a lot of calls and coaching and I'm talking to different women who are either in a relationship where they're dealing with a lack of communication they're dealing with lies the person they're with is lying to them deceiving them some are being cheated on they're dealing with their partner cheating on them and some of them are actually you know the partner or you know they're married and they're aware of this and then there are some women who are single and not in a relationship but they fear the cheating they fear being cheated on or being left for another person i felt like this is a really really important topic let's talk about the differences between the person that cheats one time in a moment of weakness but really feel bad versus the person who cheats repeatedly over and over again and don't want to change and really not willing to change but they may not even communicate that with you because there is a lack of communication the number one common reason men cheat is because of their inability to deal with the issues in their relationship and the issues with themselves there are issues going on where i don't know lack of connection lack of intimacy lack of communication they may feel that there's no real connection there or compatibility and instead of addressing the truth about how they feel in the relationship they just move on and and you know sleep with somebody else or look for other people to date they would rather sneak around than to just admit that the relationship is in trouble or that their relationship is over so that's a lack of communication a lack of addressing the situation so instead of addressing the situation addressing the truth about what's going on they're avoiding the truth they don't want to address that the relationship is over it's an issue it's like be upfront and be honest where you are but instead of doing that they avoid it they go around it they look for other people they open to other relationships which cause even more drama trouble pain heartbreak all of that i don't want to break up my marriage i want to stay married i want to continue to have my cake and eat it too and i also don't want to fix the marriage either i don't want to work on it i don't want to get counseling so they're willing to just go and have sex with other women instead and so then the cheating happens this is one reason this is just the common reason why some men choose to to cheat and this is not to give an excuse there's no excuse for cheating definitely i don't condone cheating definitely i never tell people to just settle for cheating when you put your heart into a relationship and you love a person and you desire this loving monogamous connection with your partner cheating is wrong and if that person made a commitment or said that this is where it is why should that be something that you settle with and people are starting to settle with this even more it's definitely something that needs to be addressed then you have the type of men who will cheat no matter what they may not be having any issues everything could be going great in the relationship but these men cheat and these are what you call sociopaths it doesn't matter and women blame themselves and they say oh i need to be better i need to look different i need to lose weight or he's done no it doesn't matter what you do there are men who will cheat no matter what no matter who they're with no matter how much you change or try to do something and so you need to be aware of this 
And you need to stay far, far, far away from men like this. And and I'm I'm smiling because it's like, ah, uh, but it's so serious. It's so serious. These men, they often lack respect for women. They lack empathy for other people's feelings. They're not focused on how bad this makes you feel. They're focused on how much pleasure it brings them. And so they don't care. They really don't care that you're upset. They may act like they care, but really they're focused on their own pleasure. And that's it. This type of man will cheat and not feel like he's doing anything wrong. Deep down inside, he don't feel like he's doing anything wrong. He's actually cheating for his own ego and gratification. It's like a score. It's like the more he can get, the more women, the better he feel about himself or his self image or his ego or his gratification. It can be hard to receive this type of information because they don't want to believe and receive that the person that they're with is just focused on their own pleasure and they're going to cheat no matter what because some women feel like they need to hold on to certain men in their lives because they feel like you know well this is better than nothing or I don't want to be lonely or I'm willing to just deal with this it's so important to understand the truth, to really analyze the situation and do what's best for you at the end of the day. You got to do what's best for your mind, body, and spirit and, and focus on how you can protect your peace and guard your heart and not be sucked into this type of relationship. Here's another reason, insecurity. Insecure men who don't feel like they are enough in themselves. And so they need other women to validate them. They're not just good with a monogamous relationship because they feel like they need more than one woman. Another reason why men cheat is because of self-sabotage. Sometimes they don't feel that they're deserving, you know, and that goes back to being insecure and being with an insecure man who feel like, man, things are going so great. I have this amazing relationship. Something may be wrong. I don't know. This is not. So they'll sabotage the situation because they're used to toxic relationships. So they will self-sabotage the relationship by cheating. Some men cheat because they need to feel physically desired. Maybe they feel like the person they're with, they're not physically desiring them. They don't have the passion. And so they're looking for this physical desired attention that they feel like they're lacking. Like I said before, there's no excuse for cheating. And I don't believe any woman or man should settle in a relationship with a cheater and to just put up with it over and over again. It can be toxic. It can harm you mentally, emotionally. It's just not healthy for you physically at all. Never accept cheating as a part of life. Because I think a lot of women are feeling like, well, maybe this is the culture. This is what I got to deal with. This is the world of dating today. No, you don't have to accept that. There are plenty of men who never cheat and you don't have to believe that all men cheat and this is what you have to deal with no really this is what I, I coach women through and I help them through in relationships and everything because there's a way that you can present yourself in a relationship there are things that you can say and do and not do and boundaries that you can begin to hold on to that will attract more of a committed relationship, a faithful relationship, a connected and compatibility in a relationship. And so, yeah, I have an action plan. I've created an action plan just to help you get the connection, commitment, and compatibility that you really desire in a relationship. Actually, my husband is available tonight too. So he joined me. People cheat because of lack of self-discipline. -dis People don't have self-discipline to be able to go through a situation and to say, you know what, it's challenging right now, but I'm going to stick it out. I'm going to stick through it. I'm going to do what I got to do to make sure this thing works. Mm. Some people give up too easily. 
Mm. You know, and then I think it's a culture of a mindset that say, have you ever heard somebody say, don't leave a job until you have another one? Well, you know, people try to not leave a relationship until they got another one set up already, too. Like you dealing with life, you dealing with people, you dealing with real life experiences. You ain't got to treat them like no job. You ain't got to be like, you know what? I don't want to be lonely, so I'm going to stick this out until I find me somebody else. No, don't don't play with people's hearts like that. That's what yeah. people do. Yeah. They play with folks' hearts like that, and they don't have the fortitude and the self-discipline to say, mentally, I'm not here, because sometimes that occur. Mentally, they aren't there, but they don't have the fortitude, the guts, the, the wherewithal, the courage to say, you know, this is how I feel right now. Make the necessary steps to rectify whatever that feeling is that they got. People lack commitment. They just lack commitment in relationships. There needs to be a level of self-discipline and maturity to be able to communicate as adults when you're in a situation that you don't want to be in. And if you really care about humans, you don't want to put somebody in a situation where, you know what, I'm going to just do whatever I'm going to do. And you can feel how you feel and you can pick up the pieces how you pick them up because I don't really care about that for real. And that's why it's so important to have boundaries because a lot of times you might teach that other person that they could get away with cheating. And so they'll cheat because they feel like you're not going to leave. You meeting somebody that's a cheater already, some a player. And he looking a certain type of way and you thinking just because I'm in a relationship with him and I'm a good person, I'm going to change that up. No, that ain't your job. There are things that need to be revealed to people and you ain't the one to reveal it. That You know, and those past relationships leave hints. <laughs> those past relationships. How did it end? You know, you got stuck. So many baby mamas and stuff like that. You may want to pay attention to that and learn from that and not think, well, he's going to be different with me when it's like, well, if he was like that with them, he got a habit going. I mean, and you see the difference in changed behavior. There's no way to say somebody's going to be different on the back end of him being a certain way with somebody else. It's just unrealistic. Pay attention to the action, not the words. The words can say one thing and actions are a whole different thing. Yeah. Especially in, in, in any relationship, you're going to be faced with a number of different challenges in all different type of seasons. And you have the choice. Both individuals have a choice, whether they're willing to go through it or whether they uh, uh, want to sit the sidelines. So let's answer that question. Yeah. Okay, so she want to know if a man cheats, do you think he can change? I think he can, but he got to want to change. He got to really show you that up front, and he has to be willing to work on the relationship, and he got to be willing to do whatever it takes to build your trust and all of that and work through the relationship. Yes, people can change, but it really requires a lot for a person to change and really they need to want to change, not just changing so they don't get caught or changing because you feel bad, but they still feel like that's something that they'll do again. Somebody on Instagram says, should a couple expect verbal respect continuously? Yes. You yeah. should expect verbal respect. You should have respect, emotional respect physical respect, verbal, mental respect. Really, relationships are a reflection of your life. They impact your life. When you have a healthy relationship, it impacts your career. It impacts your business. It impacts your mental health. It impacts you, your emotional health. It impacts your interaction with your family. So understand the importance of relationships and how much they really impact your life. And so if you have a relationship with someone who is disrespectful towards you and verbally disrespectful towards you, that impacts you emotionally, mentally. It's very important that you have that respect. Communication skills is very important in relationships. In moments of emotional stress, people can sometimes forget how to be an effective communicator. People understand the buttons that they can push to get their partner riled up or 
to get the uh, you know get their point across or, or all of those things there's still something inside of them that can uh, help them to be able to respectfully articulate how they feel without intentionally pressing buttons though you may know what buttons to push like in the heat of this conversation i'm not gonna push them just because i'm upset right now mm-hmm. i'm still gonna have enough self-control to be able to have this conversation, say what I feel without intentionally saying something to break you down. Mm-hmm. I think that's that's where the respect comes in at. I respect you enough to articulate how I feel at the same time, not intentionally try to come across and hurt you. Husband question. The dudes I know that cheat don't cheat for all those touchy-feely reasons. Men cheat for a lack of discipline and greed. Am I wrong? Yeah, I mentioned self-discipline. But at the same time, when you're doing this in a marriage, it affects you personally. And a lot of times that can be insecurity issues that men are dealing with that for you to do that to your family, what kind of man are you? Unless you're just a sociopath and you have no feelings at all and you just cold hearted and you don't care. When you're doing that to somebody that you're supposed to care about, that you want the best of, it has some psychological reasons behind that. A lot of that will make you feel less than a man for you to be blatantly cheating on your wife or blatantly cheating on, you know, your children's mother or the person that you told you was committed to and you love to. You just basically lying. You're a liar. You can't be trusted. So, yeah, you have a lack of discipline and and you greedy but you also got some issues with your self-image you also got some issues that you need to deal with as far as like if you're not disciplined think about it when you're not disciplined in your finances are you not disciplined in eating healthy or exercising that affects your personality that affects affects your self-esteem so when you're not disciplined in a relationship that's a sign that you do have some self-esteem issues there are some men walking around with those insecurity issues as well yeah. they don't want to be alone and they're not even emotionally connected in these relationships but they just going out fulfilling that void that's inside of them And the greed behind the cheating is like the brownie points to feel better about who their ego. Oh, I got this girl. I got this woman. I did. I was with that person to make themselves feel like, okay, you know, I got all these people that like me because one woman is not enough. That's a lack of security. That's an insecure issue because you need all these women to validate you and to show you that you're enough. That's really behind a lot of the, I got this one, I got that one, and the greed behind it. It says, how can you deal with a guy that keeps avoiding talking talking about about the issue? issue? I would say if he's avoiding talking about the issue, I don't know whatever the issue is, if it's a cheating issue or whatever, you need to avoid him. You need to create some boundaries and say, if we can't um, work through this or heal through this, There are certain things I will not do. There are certain things that I would not connect with you on. Like you can't just be chasing this person around and and really trying to get them or you're not going to make them stop avoiding it. If they want to avoid it, they're going to keep avoiding it. But what you got to do is to, instead of trying to get them to have the conversation, you got to say, what boundaries do I need to put into place in order to make sure that I'm protected. And because they're avoiding this conversation, I got to look out for me now. People who lack communication skills. Mm-hmm. They lack the ability to, to be able to articulate how they feel. They run from challenging conversations. And as much as you may have a feeling of, I want to talk about this, I want to get this out, because they run away from challenging moments, it's, it's going to be a continual situation where they always in that space. I'm so passionate about healthy relationships that have connection and commitment and communication that is so important. 
healthy families, healthy relationships, it's life. And like I said, your relationship will impact every area of your life. If you're dealing with issues in your relationship, it's going to impact your, your finances. It will impact your job. It will impact you mentally if you are struggling with issues in your relationship. All right. Thank you so much again. We love you guys. Bye. Thanks so much for tuning in. We really enjoy connecting with you in this show. I want to hear from you. Let me know what was your takeaway in today's episode. Also, be sure to share, comment, and like our messages. We enjoyed this message and we look forward to connecting with you in the next episode.